as we begin a brand new year in the next few days, let me heartily wish every Sierra Leonean a happy and a prosperous 2018. Let me also wish you all a new year full of vibrancy and hope, including boundless opportunities for Sierra Leoneans. Every year brings its own set of new challenges and opportunities. But I want to remind everyone that this new year must renew our unwavering commitment to particularly peace and security of Sierra Leone as we approach the election season. As the pendulum swings to its final seconds of 2017, we are again reminded of our huge national obligations and responsibilities to Sierra Leone, and one that defines our true character as citizens, and one that asks the question, what can you do to build a better Sierra Leone? For over 56 years, our national sovereignty has brought us together from tragedies to triumph, collectively on the path of fulfilling the aspirations of creating a Sierra Leone free from poverty, one where freedom and the rule of law are preserved and protected, and one where justice is dispensed to everyone without fear or favor. And so each year, we are bound by common principles and the adherence to our national constitution to reaffirm our obligations again to the founding characters and credence of unity, freedom, and justice. Such lofty commitments will always help us build a more secure and a more prosperous Sierra Leone. Indeed, we have seen many trials and tribulations in 2017, from the Ebola recovery effort to the tragic flooding and mudslides that displaced and killed hundreds of our citizens. But we have also seen the goodness and generosity of our neighboring countries and the international community. We are grateful to them and the people of Sierra Leone share the aspiration of a global community ready to support each other in times of peace and tragedy. As always, we have overcome the darkest moments of our history through faith in God and the strong culture of resiliency against every adversity. We must use this same spirit and energy to build a democratic society full of outstanding electoral records of inclusion, transparency, and credibility. I know there are great anxieties and doubts about the upcoming local, parliamentary, and presidential elections. There are those who see difficulties in our opportunities to advance the cradle of our democratic gains. And there are others who want to win at all costs, even at the expense of our security. That by the grace of the Almighty God, Sierra Leone will hold peaceful and credible elections on March 7, 2018. The people's voices and votes will be heard in the valleys and hills of our nation and across the world. No single group or person would stop the wheels of democracy from rolling on the beautiful land of Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone will once again demonstrate to the world that we are a place where elections are held freely and fairly, and that our electoral institutions have made giant strides in working towards a credible and independent dispensations of their duties and obligation to our nation. Election is indeed a process where the legitimate mandate to govern are secured at the ballot box. We must therefore cherish such democratic values and protect the right to vote and be voted for as a sacred constitutional duty. That is how we gain respect and credibility among the families of nations. I firmly believe that this election will be a benchmark of progress for our sub-region and the continent of Africa. That is the enviable lead my party, the National Democratic Alliance, the NDA, is striving to achieve. And from every corner of Sierra Leone, 
we are saying that Sierra Leone needs a new direction and a new leadership based on the fundamental values of trust and transparency. One that brings national cohesion and unity towards the goal of achieving economic and social service growth. The potentials of our nation through private sector expansion, sound fiscal and monetary policy that build confidence in the market with an economy that is diversified to expand in both agricultural, the service and industrial sector into a technology and industrialized based system. Education is without a doubt the engine of growth. We see a more skilled base, more diversified manpower technology that would attract a multinational investment and creating incomes for our citizens through a high paying workforce that contributes to national tax revenues. Infrastructural growth is a continuous process and my party seeks to advance more feeder roads that transport goods to market and increase agricultural outputs. Through the expansion of our marine resources, tourism and the service sector, many of our unemployed youth will find the opportunity to work and support their family. That is how we build a better Sierra Leone. Again, I want to wish every Sierra Leonean at home and abroad a happy and a prosperous 2018.